just look where we are walking you have to walk very slowly it's a bit scary oh i don't want to fall they need to replace this wood they really need to replace this wow old mining town of chiatura georgia this mining town has been running since the soviet times because georgia used to be one of those countries that were under the soviet union rule traveling in these soviet union countries you learn so much and there's so many things that we grow up not knowing and the history hasn't really done us much favors and we picked a friend the nice thing with this town is it's got so many um, buildings from the Soviet times because you can see it's, it's so much Soviet here. When you see old buildings in this old Soviet Union, don't just make a conclusion that the building is abandoned because most of them, they are not. Either it's a business or mining building or place of residence. I have seen that as you will see in this video. And as I was walking through the town, I came across this very old Soviet truck, a Kamaz. It's not running anymore. It was parked in the garage and it's dead. I mean, who does that? Only here in former Soviet Union countries, you will find things like that. And to me, that's just amazing. Wow. I guess water is not very important here because it's just running. Oh my God, look, that's so dirty. But it doesn't, it doesn't stink. It doesn't smell because they are washing whatever they've been digging from the mine. Look at that. That water is black. You look at that old building over there. Still working. There are people in there. We're going to be going there to explore oh it. It's a bucket crane. You wouldn't have guessed that it's a bucket crane. It just looks scary getting into it. And somebody standing in the middle of the truck. The guy standing in the middle. Kavar Java. Hello. <laughs> oh, somebody. Yeah. That train is here just to pick up the workers. There was a guy standing in the middle of the train truck. I don't know how we can go into that building. This very old Soviet building in this mine. Wow, look at the staircases, man. Metal, pure metal. What's this? 1989. I looked at one building and I thought, that's definitely abandoned. And then upon close inspection, I realized that the building wasn't abandoned. It was a mining building. So if you haven't explored parts of the world, I would say, start traveling and see parts of the world. You will learn a lot. Going inside an old Soviet building, it's very gray. Ah, I think there's a, some sort of a lift for workers. Yeah. <laughs> James has said, let's take the stairs. How many floors this building? Like six or eight. Do I see some machinery? Whoa. There's a hole in the middle. I would love to go in there, but there's a hole in the middle of the building. So going in there, it's a bit risky. I don't think I'm going to risk that. There's an old machine from the Soviet Union times still working. Some of the things here, they're just so scary and amazing, but it's worth coming to places like this. This is what the beauty of traveling does here. Unexpected things. Amazing. The sand and stones here. But this is worrying though. <laughs> Just look at this. When you come to a place like this, you definitely need a safety helmet. Without a safety helmet, it's a bit of a risk. And being the idiot that I am, I'm wearing a baseball cap. That's stupidity. I just stupidity. There's no two ways of saying it. 
that building it does look abandoned but don't be don't be fooled it's not abandoned it still works uh, this is the place I really don't want to walk through because you just look at the floor only an idiot will walk through uh, that floor gee that's a big hole place uh, this lady who works at uh, this mining uh, building I think this building has got like eight floors yeah main sakatelo chut chut um uh uh sota sota katiri sota yeah all right oh yes <laughs> And Requia? Nato. Nato, okay, Nato. Nato, Europa. <laughs> Nato, Europa, okay. She says she wanna go to Europe. Kavarjova. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Luisa. Luisa? Hello, Luisa. Karge. Karauli. Karauli? Karauli? Oh, Karauli, Kings Marauli. <laughs> That's Karauli up there. That's Karauli and, and Shen, uh, Eliza. Luisa. Oh, Luisa, okay. Luisa. Tatuli Arizi. Wow. Yes, Oh, Shweli, be bigger. Balsoi okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Balsoi Didi. Didi. Balsoi Didi, Maliki Patara. Yeah, Maliki Patara, yes. Oh. Another lady is taking Kamu us to show us somewhere. Come here, Vide. Nana, Eta, Nana, Tete, Kamu Vide. Wala. Kavar Joba, Nana. Salam. Okay, thank you. Yes, Vina, Vina. Vina, yes, so, Chesa. Okay. NATO. NATO. Okay. Europa. Europa. <laughs> you want to go to Europe with us? <laughs> the one for you, one for me. <laughs> oh, this is old. U S S R. You might think that the building is abandoned or it's closed or it's been condemned, but you have to inspect it. And when you go to the building, you find that there are people wow. who are working there. Sometimes a place of work, like this building where we are now. Okay. There's a, a belt there, delivering stones. Mm. Stones that are going yeah. to be crushed. But the floor, the floor, it's more worrying. You have to be careful, because if you make a mistake, you could end up where you really don't want Look to be. At this. You have to be careful walking here. You could fall. Look how James is walking. <laughs> James is tiptoeing here. Are you scared, James, here? Or are you just worried a bit? Seems like we are still going up. The thing is, look, if you fall, it's a long way down. Oh, this, I saw this from miles away. Now I'm finally here. Uh, I'm going there now. Let me just keep climbing up here. I think it's the guy who's giving us this tour. He's really drunk. And to him, he's just normal. Oh. Yeah, how did the dog get up here? Because look at the stairs. He must have pulled himself up. The poor dog here. Yeah. Oh, this is your job, Mushobi. Is okay that dog? Let's watch ourselves with that dog. It's got a bit of an attitude. Go and explore a little bit more. That's the fun wow. of exploration. Where do you travel? Try to see as much as you can with the little time that you've place, got. Man. So if you go through this door to there, it's a toilet down there. I don't know whether you guys can see it, but that's a toilet right there. 
It's interesting. This lad is amazing. You gotta be careful here, man. Some of them only have two bars, man. That's to catch all the stones from the cable cars coming from over that hill in case the stones fall so that doesn't hit people or hit cars. So they put that netting, which is in a state of disrepair. It needs some attention. You can see it's pretty big and it goes there. And then it's going to dump it all over there. Whoa! And you know in the pit, there's, there's some ladders. Oh, there's a ladder in case you fall in. <laughs> you should be able to come out, find your way out of here. It says that if you get stuck, they have to climb down the ladder. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. This is where he drinks. Uh -huh. A little office there for his. This looks amazing. You will think this building is abandoned and it's not abandoned. There are people working in there, cable cars running from the mines. You never get anywhere more unique than this place in terms of a place to work. And uh, you'd never see anything like this in any part of Western Europe. In Britain, this will be condemned, this building. Oh, yeah. Just looking at it, people wouldn't be allowed. This is what we talk about freedom in uh, these countries in the East. People are still working here. You can see them on the videos, loads of people, and they're all happy. It's so different. So I'm leaving this wonderful building alone, and as you can see, there's a gentleman right up there who has given me a wave. Jiri Manlova, member buddy. Cheers, mate, thank you. Yeah, he was just waving. I've just been invited to a bakery here. They're making these cookies. But the building looks abandoned, but it's not. Inside, it's a very, very nice bakery. Never judge a book by its cover, seriously. I just came to the bakery here in Chiatura, and they've just given us loads of cakes. From there to there, we got quite a lot. Wow, from uh, this gentleman, Requia? Koba. It's Koba. Koba just gave us loads of cake in Chiatura. Uh, <laughs> Didi Madlova Koba, thank you very much. <laughs> yes. That's my newfound friend, Bishop. Mixing the dough there. Oh, you have to get the right sizes. Wow. This is very interesting. Very good, Bishop. Yeah, food is called bread in Georgian. So he's adjusted the machine to get the right size of this bread. And this gold magazine? Maharot. What's Maharot? Oh, Drug, okay. Can I have one? Uh, 80. Um, and 80, 80 for tourists, 80. Yes. Yeah. For me. I've just asked for some bread and I'll, you see, I love Georgia. I love Georgia. Look, they just, this one has got jam inside. I'm going to try it. Eat your heart out, guys. Look. Mm. But they're making it for local residents and they take it to them. It's for free, my God, because, it's, it's, yeah, because the area is very poor. So I'm Thank you for watching my video. If you like my channel, do not forget to subscribe and share with all your friends.